Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Darren Cabral and I'm the CEO of Suits Social. We're a digital advertising agency that helps companies build their brand, generate leads and make more sales online. And today we're going to be talking about how what you're wearing, your wardrobe, your fashion sense can actually impact your return on investment from your online advertising. So it sounds a little crazy because most people talk about split testing their ad copy or split testing their creative, but no one's really talking about split testing what you're wearing or how you look when you're in front of a camera. And let me tell you, I just found out recently that it actually plays a much bigger role than you think and how you look will actually impact the results of your ad campaigns if you're the person in front of the camera in your ads. So I'm going to start with a story. So here at Suit Social, we run ads for our own business because we practice what we preach. We tell our clients that paid advertising is the best way to acquire leads at scale. So that's what we do to acquire our leads. And as part of our advertising campaigns, I run videos that look similar to this as ads. And I noticed something recently. When I dress up like nicely and I wear, you know, a blazer, the nice dress shirt, I look really professional, our ads tank. But when I wear a hoodie or a sweater, all of a sudden we start getting more leads. Same messaging, same targeting. Why is that happening? So I figured it out by accident when all of a sudden I shot impromptu ads, no real planning. All I had was a suit social hoodie on and I cranked out a bunch of ads. We replaced them with the last ads that were running and we got like a three times increase in leads for the same price just because I changed what I was wearing. So I started to test it and break it down and figure out why was that happening? It comes down to kind of understanding your audience and who they are, right? When people were scrolling their feet, business owners especially, and they see me in a nice blazer and colorful dress shirt, they're like, oh, a sales guy trying to sell me more shit, right? That's what they're thinking. Like, let's just be honest. And they just scroll on by. I'm not relevant. I don't look like their friends. Like when they scroll their, their feed, they don't see people dressed up in like blazers and dress shirts. They're like, who is this guy, right? Like, he's just sell me shit. So they go on. When I'm wearing a hoodie, first of all, it doesn't scream ad. It doesn't scream cheesy salesman. It just screams, oh, hold on. What's, what's this guy doing? What's this guy talking about? And for those of you that kind of follow the business and marketing content online, you might know someone called Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk, right? He's very big in the entrepreneur space. And one thing he's pretty controversial with is his dress code. Like when he's on stage and he's on camera, he's always wearing a t-shirt, he's wearing jeans, he's very low key. He's not dressed up, you know, to the nines, like with his dress shirt and ties and suits. He's just very casually. And I think part of that is he's figured this out. When you dress casually and you're, I mean, depending on your audience, right? If you're, if you're a doctor, you want to look like a professional. If you're a lawyer, you're going to probably want to look like a professional. Depending on your industry, especially if you're in the B2C space as well, like you're, you're just kind of business to consumer, you're selling consumer services or products. Um, you want to be relatable. You want people not to put their guard up when they see an ad. You want them to think it's just another piece of content. It's someone in their feed. It's something they would engage with in their explore page. You want it to feel native and organic and natural. I think dress code has a big role to play in that. And so ever since that kind of experience we had with me and a hoodie outperforming all our other ads, I started to test it. And sure enough, the more casual I dressed, there's kind of a, it's a sweet spot. Like you can't just go on and it's like, don't get me wrong. You can't come on camera in a tank top and shorts. And like there, there is a, there is a point, but I found out similar to what I'm wearing today, a t-shirt, a little bit of kind of a sweater that goes a long way. It seems to be the most relatable, you know, what people connect with the easiest, their guard comes down. I still don't look, you know, like a, a crazy person that's just like flip flops and tank top and Hey, buy marketing stuff. But I'm also not overly dressed where your guards come and saying, who is this crazy sales guy trying to sell me stuff? It's somewhere in the middle. And so that's what I figured out for my business. You got to figure out what that looks like in your business. I'll give you another example. A friend of mine is in the real estate investment business and he buys off market property. So he buys privately from sellers directly. A lot of people think, hey, I'm in the investment world. Like they'll dress up, they drive nice cars. When he goes to meet with sellers, he doesn't take, like the guy has nice cars. He has Mercedes, he's got the Benz, he's got all the stuff going. He's nice clothes, he dresses up, he's got all that stuff. But when he goes to meet with sellers, he puts on a t-shirt, you know, he'll drive an old Honda CRV that he has. He kind of brings everything down a notch because it becomes more well received. When he knocks on that door, when he comes with the seller, they're not thinking, oh, here's a guy trying to screw me. They're just thinking like, here's a normal dude. Like he's a local investor, he's trying to get my property. And it doesn't matter if he is or isn't trying to screw them, if he is or isn't a good or bad guy. The point is the perception. It doesn't matter what he's wearing, he's the same guy, right? And I know him, he has great intentions, he's a great guy, but when he comes in all polished and the nice car and the Mercedes and the suit, people's guard goes up. They think this guy must be trying to screw me and they don't wanna do the deals, they don't wanna talk to him. So he kind of dresses down and just calms the whole image. Well, it's the same thing a lot of times in the advertising world, depending on your business. Now, if you're in the luxury goods or luxury service market, and that's the type of people that you're selling to, you might have to look like that, right? So I'm not saying the answer to better ads 
ads is dressed down. I'm saying that's what we figured out in our ads for our audience. That's what worked for us. You might be the opposite. Maybe you're trying, like I said, to sell the luxury services or product market and you're, you're dressing too casual and you need to up that a little bit because the circle those people run in look a little different and you've got to match that look and match that image. I know nowadays there's a lot of this like, um, what's the word, this woke culture where it's like, they say, why should it matter what you look? It does matter how you look because that's how people will perceive you in that first impression, right? They're gonna figure out, are you someone that you wanna to listen to or are you someone they're gonna to have to protect themselves against, put their guard up, and they're gonna make that decision based on how you look. It doesn't matter what they say, what's right, what's wrong, that's what's gonna happen. So um, this is just something that's not talked a lot about in advertising, I think we should be, is you split test everything else in your advertising, try split testing your wardrobe, what you look like, what you're wearing, what settings behind you, what cars behind you. Test it out, try it out, see how it works for you, and let me know how it works. If you agree or disagree, drop a comment below. Let's talk about it. If you wanna learn more, check out www.suitsocial.com to learn more about how we can help you run better ads, build your brand, get more leads, and make more sales online. I'll see you guys in the next show.